Welcome to the deck of the Ocean Endeavour. It's an expedition tour ship that's exploring the Antarctic Peninsula. We're now heading southwest through the Le Maire Channel. That's a narrow body of water about halfway down. This place is very famous for its incredible beauty. That's why all the tourists you can see around you in their yellow parkas have wrapped up very warm to stand on deck and take lots of photos. There are 180 tourists aboard the Ocean Endeavour. That's just a fraction, though, of almost 40,000 people who will visit Antarctica as tourists this year. And they'll mostly be on expedition cruises like this one. It is a very skilled job to navigate in these icy waters. Some of the chunks of floating ice around us carved from glaciers and they extend deep beneath the water. The captain and the navigators aboard take it very slowly, constantly watching and listening. Flows scrape along the side of the boat's hull, grinding and juddering as they go. This expedition is particularly special though because aboard is a team of scientists who've hitched a lift to Antarctica to reach penguin colonies. They're setting up a network of cameras to monitor the birds. And this is the view from the middle of one of those penguin colonies, close to the shore on the Antarctic mainland. Today, Dr. Tom Hart from Oxford University is coming back to a camera that he fixed to the top of that sturdy steel pole a year ago. He'll check the camera survived the harsh Antarctic winter and crucially, he'll remove and replace the media card that contains a year's worth of images. This camera has taken a picture every hour of every day for an entire year. Analyzing those images helps Tom to work out how threats like climate change and fisheries are affecting the penguins. These are Gentoo penguins, and unlike the other penguin species of the peninsula, they seem to be adapting well to environmental change. Their population is actually increasing. At the moment, they're nesting. They're taking care of eggs and of the fluffy chicks that you might be able to see on their stone pile nests. Those stones help to insulate eggs and chicks from the cold ground. Gentoo parents often form long-lasting bonds. They're highly nurturing. Here you'll see both parents, male and female, working to feed and protect their offspring, taking it in turns to forage and return to the nest. So Tom's now finished checking the camera. He's put in a new set of 12 batteries and a new media card. So he'll leave it for another year and for another winter.